Hi, it's Richard at Above Life Channel. This video is a follow-up video to the discussion that I just had with Mr. John Lennon in the afterlife. John came in and we spoke about dreams. We talked about law of attraction. We talked about manifesting. So I want to do a follow-up video because I want you to to have the, the, the portion of my perspective as this is happening, okay? I think it's important for you to understand that when I'm channeling and having discussion with afterlife guests. Every energy feels a little different. And John, to be real blunt, John feels like he's kind of like in this altered state. Like um, when I connected with him the first time, he seemed really mellow. And kind of like he'd been smoking, <laughs> smoking something. <laughs> and, but it was okay. It was fine. It wasn't too intense or anything. And then this time, after I was done, I mean, it felt like he had so much information. Like, so much information was coming in. And, and he was here. And when I say here, I don't mean his whole body, spirit is like ghost is standing in my living room or anything. But I mean, he was here like his presence was totally here. Like, I could feel the energy of his essence his spirit energy and I could see his persona so his human he was reflecting his human life experience and then it wasn't like sometimes I could hear him like word for word say things but mostly the the trans uh the communication piece the transference of information that was happening was really more of a big like chunks of stuff to say like boom and then it's like three chapters of a book and then I have to sh say it you know so I am really aware as a medium as a psychic and as a channel that there are many different styles of communication you know visual auditory sensing feeling and knowing okay and I use all of these for communication and so I want you to understand that in this particular discussion with John that was a perfect example of the getting just a big download input of information accessible to me and then I just share it you know start opening it up and reading the pages and just sharing it with you so this wasn't like a clear audience channel where it's word for word and he's telling me stuff every once in a while I could key in on some specific things he was saying and I think you'll be able to see that I have not watched the video channel yet but I think you'll be able to see the difference between that. The one thing I would really strongly suggest to you as you are watching the John Lennon discussion about dreams, dreaming, manifesting your dreams, I would strongly suggest that if you've already watched it, go back and watch it again and do it, listen to it. Don't watch it, but have it playing and listen to it and write down, the, make notes about some of the information that he shared because he shared a lot of ideas, thoughts, concepts, a lot of spiritual practices and, and guidelines or principles, I would say. I don't want to say laws because that sounds like if you don't do it this way, it's wrong. And he didn't say that either. He did not like that term spiritual law. Specifically, when I asked him about law of attraction, I could feel a, that's not my thing. That's not, I'm not into the law thing. Here's what everybody has to do. He's not into the conformity thing. He's opposite of that. He's like anti, not anti now, but he's, no, nah, that's not mine. No, nah, that's not mine. And so I would say uh, maybe guiding, guidance, guidance, guidelines, suggestions, that kind of a thing, right? And so um, I would suggest using a journal if you have one or just a notebook and take notes. Just listen to it and take notes. And remember that the source that it's coming from is John Lennon, that his spirit is sharing that information for you. So whatever you get out of that is meant for you. That is the point here. That is why, you guys, that is why I do Above Life Channel, because it's about inspiring your spirit and filling you up with hope. And in order to do that, you are the one, you are the subject, you are the, the receiver of the information and the messages. I don't do them for me. Okay, yeah, I'm curious about some of this stuff. Some of these topics are great and fascinating. And in fact, right now in this after, after channel video, I'm going to share with you kind of what I would ask him. 
I'm I am gonna uh, I'm gonna ask him um, about something for myself because I'm curious, so I want to ask him. Um, it isn't something I normally would just share with you guys, but I'm gonna share it with him, and I so I will. So there you go. You can watch me talk to him and ask him a question because I think you guys probably think I do that all the time as I just randomly walk through the kitchen and go, oh. I would like to manifest X, Y, or Z. And so I'm going to ask somebody famous that knows how to do that. How do I do that? No, that's not what really happens. You know, I'm a human just like you. I do real life stuff. So I have this chance now and I'm going to, I'm going to ask. It's funny because he was sitting down during our discussion, during the channel, and now he's standing up. And uh, he's like, like his hands are out like, yes. What would you like to know? And now I see him in like a two-piece, like a... Um, I know this isn't the right term for it, like a gi, like a karate outfit. It's like really loose fitting clothing um, and kind of um, just below the arms kind of a thing and um, and pants too and bare, like bare feet. Like and there's a mat, like a yoga mat, like we're like yogis or something, <laughs> but he's not going to do yoga. It's kind of weird. It's like a meditation kind of vibe. So it's a higher consciousness vibe is what he's showing me. He's like, OK, like he, and he puts his hands flat out like this. Like, go ahead, Bridget, you know, and I can see you guys. Remember, I'm really clairvoyant, which is, I'm pointing here. This is the third eye chakra. Um, you know, your mind's eye, third eye chakra. And that's my strongest channel. That's the best way I communicate. I vision, I visualize, I see. And so I'm seeing him, but I don't hear anything. He's not talking. It's just the energy presence, and he's like this. So I... I'm going to ask you, John, about this. This beautiful crystal that I received from the Camden um, Academy, I think they're called, the Camden, um, from, from one of my beautiful experiences in doing my clearing work. I received this as part of the experience as I became um, connected more deeply into the energies, the layering of energies to become a clearer. And this, I got this about, I think, three or four years ago. It was, it was part of the experience and it's programmed. So it's a crystal. I want to ask you about crystals, crystals. And this was from um, Alton Camden. And uh, he is, he's crossed over. Actually, he'd be somebody fascinating to talk to. I'm sure you know him well. And he says, yes. He says, yes, I know Alton. And then I can see Alton's energy. He was the one that channeled all this, um, these clearing teachings. Is, it would be how I would describe it, I guess. And it's, so it's something that I've received myself as well. And so as part of that, I got this. This is from Australia. It's beautiful. It's actually a rose, or um, it's actually a smoky quartz. Right? That's the type of crystal it is. So tell me about crystals. Can you tell me about that? And um, talk a little bit about, can you, I know you're not going to chat about it, but crystals are a really cool way that a lot of people like to shift or change their vibration. Because one of the things you talked about was energy. So do crystals, do, do these work? How do these work? How do crystals work? And he literally just walks up to this like circle, circular podium and he pushes this almost looks like a button. And then what comes up is like this smoke kind of thing. And then there's all these crystals sticking out of it. And then he picks one up and he goes like this and he turns it. So they're like a key. Yes, that is correct. He said, very good. He says to me and he holds it up. He says, very good. They're like a key. All right. So crystals hold vibration. Correct. Yes. And the vibration varies depending on what? The nature of the crystal and the source of, of its creation. Okay. And so is that why crystals kind of have personalities sometimes? You can meditate with a crystal and they almost feel like a personality, almost feels like a spirit in and of itself. Yes, that's right. And he says, yes, that's right. So what about grids or you can set up crystals i personally like to utilize some sacred geometry and i create some grids with crystals from time to time i don't do it all the time but sometimes when i'm having a session and i feel like the person really needs some energy um, healing or i'm trying to send positive energy to a client in particular i'll create a little grid which you guys a grid is just like you know a pattern a pretty pattern like a quilt 
and I just set some different crystals up like rose quartz because it's love and compassion or purple because it's powerful divine feminine energy and wisdom and that kind of a thing. Um, do those work? Like, do they, do they work in, would they work for anyone that wanted to set up a grid or create something? And if they would, how is that possible? Can you give me some insight into that? And he kind of steps back over. He says, that's not my thing, really. He's like, that's, I'm not really into the, uh, the patterning of things. What I would tell you, he's, he's sharing, like I'm feeling this. I'm not, he's not saying it specifically, I'm feeling it is that nature has patterns. Nature is where you see these, these sacred shapes and the origination of things. And if you are trying to manifest something and you wanna amplify the energy, when you put something in a patterning that is in alignment with whatever nature, what would be natural in nature, which is what you refer to as your sacred geometry, that's natural patterns found in nature, like the seed of life, for example. That's one of my favorites, I love that one. And you can utilize that and then put by putting the crystals or the rocks or the stones on there or even symbols. If you have coins or talismans or that kind of a thing, you put them on there and then it it enhances the intention, the natural intention and vibration. And so it allows the energy to flow and to create a state of whatever the intention is. It amplifies the intention. So therefore it can manifest. Therefore it can it can send healing or distance healing to other people or places or that kind of thing. So yes, it absolutely does work. This is what John Lennon is saying. Thank you. I do wanna ask you about Alton Camden and the clearing energy work that he does or did and channeled in. Very in, in, incredible energy for clearing and healing work. And I believe clearing and healing go together hand in hand. It's like right hand, left hand, you gotta have both. and. So Alton Camden, he was very connected to you, John. And he, in, in fact, every day of when we gathered to do, to receive the energy and channel and the messages and things for the clearing work experience to, to be more fully in our energy vibration as a clearer, because we had to up level and it was this whole, it was a lot. That was a very intense time for me in my life and it was awesome, but it was intensive. It's made me such a better person and a better psychic. I'm so grateful for it. But he was so connected to you that we, I heard that song Imagine every morning, they, they played it and we kind of just sat and then people started to sing it after like the fourth day people were singing it and it, there's only like four of us there's just a small group because it has to be small because it's very intense and we're singing and it just felt so uplifting is very spiritual and so often felt connected to you but he introduced me to the spiritual level of what you channeled in your human life and I don't think that everybody recognizes that. I think they see you as, you know, seeking spirituality or seeking something different than what you had been through as a musician and as part of the Beatles and then um, creating your own life and continuing to create your own music from a source of just an incredible source from within you. And I think I, that was lost on me. Like I didn't, but I didn't grow up at the time of the Beatles and stuff either. But so I didn't know that about you. And I didn't recognize your spirituality, quite honestly. I just thought, oh, this is a guy that just did the hallucinogenics or um, was, you know, like to get into altered states of, of being, you know, by using drugs and things, because that's an easy way to do it in theory. It's not a safe way. It's not healthy at all. And I don't, I totally don't buy into that myself. So I'm like, there's other ways to do that. Hello. And so I kind of just didn't really give you a lot of credit, to be honest. And so I want to say that I have learned a great deal uh, from your, the two conversations you and I have had. And I look forward to watching the video of the discussion about dreams, about law of attraction, about manifesting, to be able to myself gain insights. But I will share with you guys, thank you, thank you very much for that, I really do appreciate it. I will share um, with the rest of you that as soon as, as soon as we were done with that discussion, I 
felt a headache. Like my felt, head felt like I had a lot of sinus pressure. I felt a lot of pressure on my third eye. I felt like I really connected and channeled some big stuff. That's why I'm saying, okay, viewers of Above Life Channel, go back and listen. Just listen. Don't watch it. Listen to the discussion of, with John Lennon talking about dreams, dreaming, being a dreamer what that means, manifesting. Listen to that and take notes because that was big. There is big, profound stuff in there that my brain cannot even process. And I'm going to watch it myself and get out your notebook. Get out. I'm going to listen to it. Get out your notebook. Get out your journal and write what comes through for you because there's messages in there and they're for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. At Above Life Channel, the purpose is to inspire your spirit. I hope we did that today to fill you up with hope because this is your life. So live it. Be sure to comment below on this video. Like it if you do. Share it if you think it would help someone else. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the red subscribe button so you never miss a new weekly channel. Thanks for watching.